Hey everybody, it's Chris Evans. And so in this quick video, I just wanna show how we can utilize a single alpha to create a tiling texture. So let's go ahead and do that. So right now we're gonna create a solid layer. We're gonna increase the threshold just a little bit just so we can see what we're dealing with. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a map component. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit add image. And now I had downloaded this rock pack, which is super great. It's gonna be in the description below. I'm just gonna go ahead and look for the one that I really liked. So I'm going for rock 68. And so now we have this great alpha that's protruding through and it's looking really cool. And so now we're gonna go ahead and apply a scatter modifier. Uh, as you can see, we can already, we, we already see great shapes being provided just for, through the default settings through the scatter node. And now we can go ahead and adjust these things. So maybe we can uh, adjust the density so we get a little bit more things popping through. We can get a little bit you know deeper pockets and stuff like that. Maybe adjust the angle range so it's just adjusting it just a little bit, right? Okay, so I'm liking how this is looking and obviously I want it to protrude a little bit more. So we're gonna go back to the solid layer and we're gonna increase the threshold just a little bit more, right? So now we have this really cool shape protruding through. Now I see these jagged edges here. So I'm gonna go back to here. I'm gonna go right, I'm gonna select the map component and then I'm gonna add a blur. I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur. Obviously this is way too strong so I'm gonna I'm gonna decrease the strength just a little bit. Also, we can also lower the opacity here. And so we can we can adjust back and forth between the two. And so, okay, I'm gonna adjust the opacity just a little bit more. And then maybe, maybe we can adjust the scatter just a little bit. You know, just, just, just see what we can get. Okay, I'm gonna hit T or not, I'm gonna hit D so I can see what it will look like without displacement. And okay, so it's looking really good without the displacement. So I'm gonna be okay with a little bit of these jagged edges here, okay? So we're gonna name this base DIS. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is that we're gonna add a scan and these scans are really great. And so I already know what I'm gonna choose because I'm gonna choose gray rock two by two. And we're gonna leave the tile line and everything else like that by default, but we're gonna increase this threshold. And then we're gonna also wrap to underlying material or layer. And so now I want it to be a little bit more desaturated. So I'm gonna go ahead and just desaturate this a little bit, probably by 20%. I'm gonna hit two just to see what it's looking like. Okay, it's looking pretty good to me. So I'm already liking the base layer and the base rock that's applied to it. So now what I wanna do is just that I wanna add some edges and I wanna add some little bit of uh, ambient inclusion to in the pockets. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add a another scan layer, cause this is gonna be for our edges, just so we can get a little bit of roughness breakup and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for this dusty concrete. And so I got this dusty concrete and we're gonna apply it and we're gonna do the same thing here where we're gonna increase the threshold and then also wrap to underlying. And then we're gonna go to the mask component and we're gonna add curvature. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit nine and see what this mask is doing. So we got a lot of good information here. So we're gonna go ahead and adjust the levels. We're gonna crunch it up a lot. And I'll probably bring the right slider as well down so we get some hot, really sharp highlights. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit one again and so you can't really see what's going on right now because the values are pretty close. So I'm gonna hit two, and then I'm gonna go to the main layer here, and then I'm gonna select the albedo, and then I'm gonna bring it up really lightly. So you can really see the pops and the highlights and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply and hit two, or hit one. And so now we can really see what's going on. I'm gonna hit four so we can see the roughness. Obviously you can see that the roughness is being applied and it's looking pretty good. And I like, I like that there's a sharp contrast on the edges. So cool. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead and add a solid layer. We're gonna bring the threshold up once again, wrap to underlying, and then we're gonna go ahead and add another mask component. And then we're gonna actually hit curvature once again. But this time, let me hit nine, I'm gonna hit invert. So now we're gonna go into the pockets of the sculpt. And I'm also gonna adjust the levels again. I'll bring those up a little bit, but I'm gonna bring this one on the right way down. So now we're going to the crevices of the material. Obviously we're not gonna see much because it's very gray and I want this to be a lot darker. And so we can adjust the material or the color here and see what we wanna get. So if you want a little bit you know, grayer or 
more brown, we can get that for sure. And so I'm gonna hit apply and we can hit two. We can see what it's applying here. So we're getting some really good detail in the crevices. And so another great thing too, is I feel like, okay, maybe the solid colors aren't working enough. We can go to the albedo here and we can select the uh, mode that we want to apply it to. So if we want to be a multiply, we can definitely do that. It's gonna give us a little bit more darker uh, areas. And so like, this is looking pretty good to me, but I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the mask just a little bit more. And if we hold shift, it's gonna slide both of the level sliders together. So I want it to be a little bit more spread out, but then I'm gonna go ahead and let go shift and then I'm gonna slowly adjust both of these here. So now we're getting a pretty good thing and I want this, so we're gonna hit four. And so it's pretty white and I want to be a little bit uh, darker here. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and slowly adjust it. So, you know, just, just so we can get some variation in the material. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. I mean, we've gone along, we got pretty far with just a few different settings, right? And so now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a quick decal. And then I've already downloaded these leakage decals, which are really cool. And so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. And it's gonna be pretty small. So I'm gonna go to the placement here and I'm going to adjust the scale. I want it to be pretty big. And then so now I'm, I'm, I'm liking what we're getting and I'm gonna go ahead and lower the opacity here. I'm gonna hit four to see what the roughness is looking like. And I actually want this to look wet. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this down so it's a little darker than the rest of the material. Right on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust this, oop, wrong direction. I'm gonna adjust it here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit Control D. And so now I'm gonna adjust it to the other direction. And so now we have an overall coverage of leakage on this material. I'm gonna go ahead and hit two which is showing the albedo. And so now we have a pretty good amount of detail going on with just, what is, what, with just five different layers here. And so it, it's pretty quick and easy what you can create with just a few simple layers and a few simple scans. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit D so you can see what the texture would look like. And it's looking pretty good, like really quick, easy results. And you don't have to try a whole bunch and you don't have to sculpt, you don't have to do a bunch of procedural stuff. Like it's super easy, super quick. And uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial was informative. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see anything else. And thanks for watching, guys. All right, bye.